What's up, guys? Got a PUBG replay for you, brought to you by Johnny Dub. I uh, was rocking myself, Vic, uh, Richie Nixon, and a random baby JJ something or other. See the plane path? See, we're all jumping. We have company. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Where's Richard Nixon? Is me getting on the roof? All right, now you can see I'm surround. Well, I'm surrounded. I shouldn't say, but I, I miss <laughs> the entrance somehow. I didn't see any guns over here, so I'm like, okay, let me block these guys from coming in. There's three dudes on the roof now, and Richie Nixon's running away, and this guy throws a grenade. I didn't know it, it was a smoke, so now I'm getting beat up. I'm like, let me get the fuck out of here. That dude's whipping the shit out of me. I'm afraid I'm going to die. Dude even comes down with me. Yeah, I'm shocked he didn't stop and punch me out. He starts looking for a gun. Now, somehow I didn't realize he was right behind me here. I go for the med. I'm hurt. I see him there. I pick up a gun. I'm gonna put it on real speed now. See Baby J, Rich Nixon, Vic Vinegar down the bottom floor. Now we're on the ground floor. There's only three of them. One of them's outside in the crates. There's two in the building. Speed it up a little bit. Baby JJ next us two guys. Vic kills the third. Okay. So we kill those guys and then not a lot happens. We run over to Melt the Power, we do that without any uh, without any incident. Get a vehicle, and this is where fun begins. So baby JJ's driving. We all get in. And this asshole is still going north or south. Go straight through Lumber Mill. I want to say straight through Lumber Mill. You'll see what I'm talking about. We got a bridge. And now that we're on the blue. And you can see how far we gotta run. You can't see my inventory. I have like 12 bandages and a painkiller to make all that distance. You see this team right here? You see this team is about to find a few vehicles that we're not going to have access to. We'll skip ahead a little bit. I see they're driving off with two vehicles there. I'm about to die. Take some pain pills. It kindly drops me, I think, two bandages here at the street. Alright. <clears throat> we'll skip ahead a little bit. This is just a lot of running. I 
Alright, so the circle's moving again, and I'm down to like three bandages. I forget. Anyway, I'm basically running out of meds. I'm, I'm basically, I'm not going to make it unless I get some meds at this location or this location. And I tell Vic that. I think he might have still had a first aid left. So, basically, having given up hope of making it into the circle, I just check in here. And oh, look, five bandages. That's enough to give me a little bit. So I'm like, well, I still don't think that's enough to get me through, especially once the circle closes. So let me check this building set right here. And look what I find. First aid. Then, as I'm running, I see something miraculous in front of me. It's... I don't see it now yet, actually. But I see a bike up here. Right there, I spot it through the trees. Alright, so... get on the bike, we heal up, we drive through a bunch of people, we end up over here at this tower, uh, there is a fun little part coming up in a minute. So we're getting on the bike. There's this one straggling teammate right there. From somebody. You see I'm pulling up the bike. I see him crest over this hill. I try to hit him, but we're airborne. Come that close to hitting him. He hits me with the bike, or I guess I'm not wearing a fan, am I? So he hits the bike. Now, nobody actually hit this package, but we didn't either. Because uh, we figured there were teams surrounding it. We drive all the way up. Let's see. Um. Not a lot of exciting stuff, we just to hang out on top of the mountain. The next circle starts to close. We're running up. Alright, here's where we spot the team. We're hanging out. They had just killed another team up here, so this dude's running to come loot. And... There's the team beneath us. We just kind of take some pod shots. Not a lot of exciting stuff. We have to get in the circle again. You can see it's closing. Now. This is where I'm afraid because we're just running out into the open. We're about to get wrecked by the blue. And I see. Pause. I see that dude at the tree in front of me. I know those dudes were running down over there because we were chasing them. Those are the, the guys on the rocks that we just fought. And there's no cover. You see, there's absolutely no cover. Like, I'm in the only cover that there is, this rock. And this is not in. And the mist will kill quickly at this point. So, 
there's shots up by me. Somebody's shooting Vic. And actually Vic does go down here in a second. Oh man, he got blue damage too. I guess he was trying to use that rock for cover. It didn't work. Yeah. So now I'm just running down, praying that people miss. Like that guy right there. But no, I get hit twice. I lay down, just praying that that tiny little edge is just enough. Just enough cover. I can't go too far forward because of these guys. So, I just, uh, just kind of hope. Okay, now at this point, it's me versus a team of two, a team of two, a team of four, and a team of one. Now, one of those guys is already down. But it's 4v2, v2, v1, v1. So 10 people left. Top 10. Alright, well, we're going to play this. That team of one just died. So now it's 4v2, v2, v1. Two guys are down. Alright, how about clicking on my perspective? There we go. So I can clearly see these guys, and no one even bothers to turn around and look at me. So we've got two guys down on this team, one guy down on this team. Still 4v2v2v two, two, be two, be me. Now, I'm, I have clean shots at this guy. It looks like that goes, yep, I'm getting shot at my mom. So I'm like, let me get the cover now. I see those guys, I see that guy picking him up. I'm like, that's the easiest fucking kill in the world. But, I couldn't take it. Because you can see down in the bottom corner on the map, team number 30 is shooting at me. So I gotta get behind this tree. And I almost die there. Oh, yeah, and then I see that team, <laughs> team 10. Clearly visible to them. Clearly visible to them. Somehow he lets his guy bleed out. So now it's 3. V2, V2, V1. Eight people left. I don't have a single kill yet. I'm not in the circle. Alright. I think that guy that's down is that that tree, but clearly it's 3v2v2v me. Uh, those smokes just to create a little bit of confusion to give me a chance to uh, move around. Alright, so now Derpy Chan just knocked out Twitch TBL Spartan, so he just knocked him out. So it's 3v2, v2, v1. One guy down on each of these two teams. Now, I take the opportunity here. I can see that guy standing at that tree. Since his teammate was down, I wiped out a team. So now I have one kill. I got three versus two versus me. So 
speed this up a little bit. Just trying to crawl around and not be seen. I can see Derby Chan. I can see those guys. I can see they're distracted. And I figure this is my opportunity. Kind of curious. Yeah, those guys can't really see me just because of that ridge. They're also looking at that team of three. So how I'm able to move up? There's a lot of somehows here. So blue's gonna close me out. That Derpy Chan dude, he gets up to a tree. Actually, let me see what his vision looks like. Okay, so he's actually, he gets pretty quick. Let's click back to me. I'm, I'm approaching this guy. Somehow he doesn't shoot me. I kill him. That means his teammate's down. That means it's just me and these two dudes on team 13. Okay. Now, you'll see from my perspective, I'm running up I'm trying to get to that tree right in front of me so I can heal. I see that guy. That dude sees me. And somehow... I missed all those bullets except for one. Now I'm there with no health. I'm literally one bullet from dying. Now Zap Turk gets the blue, so he gets afraid. He starts running. Cover. This gives me just a moment. Shoot Snake in the feet. Four bullets. Doesn't get me. Now, I reload. Try to. Hit a first aid. And he is not having it. For some reason I'm shooting the edge of the tree. Two bullets. I'm out of bullets. He's reloading his gun. I'm switching to the SKS. And somehow I pull off the miracle victory with no health, 1v2, wrapping around a tree, absolutely insane. I am killing the five of the last eight guys, we're going to watch it from Zap Turk's perspective now. They're probably thinking, oh look, it's us versus one guy. Oh look, there he is. Oh look, I'm in the blue. Oh, I better get to this tree. Oh look, he got my teammate. Can't imagine what was going through his teammate's head. <laughs> Can't imagine the rage he must have been feeling. Hilarious game.
fantastic ending. I'll start it with the crashed car. Ah, uh, that's the game. Let me know what your favorite part was down in the comments below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.